G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'll be discussing the unfortunate um, occurring events that have happened today following Nathan Murthy's medical retirement. Now obviously yes he came out today and announced that he will be officially retiring and will never be playing AFL ever again and quite some sad um, you know, news um, that was probably expected I feel by now. You know, we're about five, six rounds into the season, so I kind of feel that, you know, it was always going to happen. Um, it was just a matter of when. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately this morning it was announced that, uh, yeah, he'll be uh, retiring and stepping down um, from football. And, yeah, look, um, now, firstly, he, he had a fantastic career, a uh, very, very decorated career, Nathan Murphy, and obviously won us a premiership last year, um, albeit to get subbed out concussed you know he got 10 concussions in his career at Collingwood um that is a awful lot um and you can kind of see why he was you know medically um you know retired by um our you know doctors um and yeah look I feel like it was always going to be expected and you know it's very very unfortunate of course but look it's exciting for him as well you know he's he's got a fantastic um you know sport history and you know he, he could maybe step up and play cricket and maybe decide to do that he also has a restaurant with a few of the few of the other Collingwood players and uh former player as well in uh, Jordan Roughhead um who is obviously now our assistant coach and you know him and Murphy came out and gave a presser um this morning as well and look obviously it's all sad and all that and, you know, he is going to be sorely missed. And he's already being missed at the moment because it's clear our back line has been woeful ever since he, you know, um, well, wasn't playing. Because last year, you know, we had him. Um, but towards the end when we had him and we didn't have more and all that, we showed similar signs to what we're playing at the moment with shaky defence and all that. Um, and, you know, Nathan Murphy is very, very valuable. Now, in my opinion... I said this before the season started. I said this maybe a long time ago that him and Bo McCreary are easily the most underrated players um, in our team. Um, I do want to say that McCreary is now, you know, our you know most underrated player because he's the only one of those two playing now. But Murphy was unbelievably uh, underrated. Played fifty-seven games for us. Um, you know he debuted in like 2018 even 17 or something like that um it was really really weird when he debuted um because he only played like a game or two and then didn't play again until like 2021 uh but yeah look had an absolute fantastic career he'll be remembered for quite a long time never gonna forget him um yeah um pretty much impossible to forget him because he was an unbelievable force to be reckoned with um, last year for us. You know, so so undersized and so underrated. Played such an important role. Actually did kick a goal in his AFL career as well. I remember he was playing forward, I think, against Richmond in 2021. And he did kick a goal. Um, and, uh, yeah, look, that, that was a really good moment for him. But, you know, he was drafted at pick 39, um, you know, in that draft, in, in, in his draft. So, you know, that obviously shows you that, you know, um, he was a fairly high draft pick, um, but turned out to be way better than, you know, what may have, um, you know, predicted. Um, but yeah, look, very, very disappointing. Um, but yeah, look, he was absolutely fantastic, especially the last couple of years, played 40 games for us over the last two years. Um, and I think we won about 30 something of them which is unbelievable when you think about that that's how good Nathan Murthy was obviously this is a bit of a tribute fantastic player he was he'll be remembered for a very very long time and thank you Nathan Murphy